So I'm going to start with PCRE2. It did say that um, either PCRE or PCRE2 could be installed. PCRE2 is a newer version of P PCRE, so it's likely to be a better um, option. So let's get rid of that window down there. And let's see if I can probably have to go home, I think, and look for, I can search by pressing forward slash, and I'm searching for the WGET, I think this is part of. So there is there, press enter. I'm going to go down into, yep, yeah, each of these here. So there we are. There's PCRE and PCRE2, either will do. So I think I'm going to opt for the second one. So download the package, save it. Let's big install command there, or configure command. Let's look at any extra. In fact, it's probably easier if I put that up there and get the web version up. So you can see we've got Unicode, PCRE 16.32, libz, bzz2, lib support, library line, um, and enable JIT. It's actually out of order, but it's there. So there's no ex extra options that have been um, put in the explanation. So we can go and copy this here and I'll extract it. And I'm going to time all of this because I'm going to stack all the commands together because I've got the passwords d disabled for sudo. I can actually do the install command all in one go. So, and, and the tests, assuming they pass. So make check. Add that in. And do the install command all in one hit. See if there's anything else to do. No, just contents, short descriptions. So that's it. So once this command's run, it will have completed installing PCRE. Um, I think the tests, does it take a long time on this? All right, no, it's, it's maybe two or three, four minutes, perhaps. It's not as long as I thought it was. So, yeah, just wait for that to, you can see the configuration's done, in fact, while I've been looking at that, and it's actually compiling already.
Okay, so it looked like I had not left. Oh, not in the sudo's file. Ah, oh, right. Yes, I know what this is. It's because I need to re-log in. So I need to come out of this, re-log in, go back to the sources, BLFS, PCRE, and now I should be able to do the sudo make install command. Obviously the test worked, otherwise it wouldn't have got that far. So I'll just do control C there. Uh, yeah, that's better. And I can tidy up. Go to my graphical browser. Uh, before I delete that general libraries, I want to tick that off as complete. Uh, PCRV2. So now I can close that. And the next one I want to install is libidn. Now it's got libunistring there, so um, I think that was installed previously. So what I shall do is just open it up, find out what chapter that's in. That's in chapter 9, lib. No, it doesn't look like it has been installed. Oh, I know what I see. I've got another tab here for it. So with libidn, a requirement is libunistring, so I need to move that down here and do libunistring first. Optionally, it's got... Oh, text live just to rebuild the documentation, so I'm not going to bother with that. So that's not a dependency as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so a quick look at this. So it's straightforward configure, make and install. So let's move on to that now. So I'll go to the browser, go back, go back again, and I need to. Oh, that was wget, wasn't it? So I need to find how I got to that dependency. So it might be libpsl. Let's have a look at that. No. Let's go back to try libidn. And there it is there, libunistring. So I'm going to go into that one, follow that one. Go down, download the file. Save it. Go back and I'm ready to copy and paste the build instructions. Okay, so I'll time this again. Paste those first commands in. Then run the test. Make a check. And this time sudo should work. Simple make install. Oops. I accidentally pasted it into the web browser, so it's gone somewhere else. So make install, and that should be it. Let's see how long this one takes. Estimate. Okay, so roughly 10 minutes to build, and maybe another 10 minutes or so, 5 10 minutes to test. So I'll keep an eye on this one now.
Okay, so that's installed okay. Let's tidy up. And remove that from the graphic browser. So it's libuni string checked off. And next I want to do lib IDN. Again, that's a straightforward installation. So back to the browser. I'll go back. Yep, lib IDN is here. Download. Save. Saved, that was quick. Yep, that's there. Go back and start putting the commands in. Uh, how long does this one take? It's quite short. So I'll copy these commands here. Add in the tests. And the installation as before using sudo. And that should be it. Okay, that looks like it's all done. Tidy that up. Get the browser back. And again, that's general libraries. libidn. Uh, just check it's, oh, it's libidn2 actually, because there's two in the in the contents is libidn with a version number 1.38 and there's this one libidn2 with a version number of 2.32 so that's an important distinction not to get the wrong one um, because it could cause problems so next we're going to do lib psl and once again it's a straightforward installation So libpsl, this is wget, so I need to go to libpsl there. Download. Save the file, go back and down. So change into the directory and start copying the commands. Oh, nearly missed a set there. Make check again to test the results. And it's make install. And oops, and if you do follow what I'm doing and stacking the commands together and you've changed your sudo to not require a password, 
and you're unsure if it is actually complete, completing without an error, you can also do something like add on um, an, an echo command with um, all, uh, I don't know, uh, successfully completed, for example. So the last line you should get is that message that you type in after the echo. And that will prove that everything has gone to plan, nothing's been missed, there's been no errors issued. Yeah, and there it is. Um, not sure what this CD is that has appeared here, but oh, I might have interpreted the two exclamation marks that I've put in um, as printing out the current directory, or that sorry, the last command, the looks of it. Um, so maybe. I was a bit too liberal with the exclamation marks, but anyway, you can see that the command is there. So I'm going to mark that off. That's in the networking libraries, libpsl. That's completed. Delete that. Get the browser back and remove the tab there. And we're now back to wget. It's ready to install. Uh, there's nothing else to change, no configuration, so again, it's a straightforward installation. So back to the browser, I'm on the wget page, I'll go up to fetch the file. Uh, in fact, it should already be there because we've already compiled it once. Yep. tab might help. So I'll go down to the installation commands which are there. As before copy and paste. Make check. Now this will probably fail because it says HTTPS test and to fail if Perl module IO socket inet6 is installed. Oh, sorry, right, if, it, if it's installed. So, being as we haven't installed that at the moment, the tests should carry on successfully to the end. And as the root user make install, with the sudo, and I'll just put echo done this time and it shouldn't because I've done the two exclamation marks together it shouldn't print out the previous command. <laughs> 